Welcome back to the Bluffton News. Joining me now is Craig Ostergaard and J.R. Brown. Craig is the board member and treasurer for Operation Patriots, and J.R. is the co-founder. Thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, absolutely. So we have a really exciting event coming up, and you're celebrating Vietnam vets, welcoming them home. Tell us all about that. Absolutely. Well, again, thank you for having us on and letting us uh, spread the word. Uh, but yeah, Operation Patriots, Bob, we are a low country veteran outreach. And what our primary mission is, is to bring veterans from all different eras together in an outside, you know, relaxed environment to build that camaraderie that a lot of us miss the most when we return home from war. So it was very important for us to make sure that we embraced our Vietnam veterans, just like Craig. Um, and we have a handful of other volunteers that are uh, Vietnam veterans. So this year we wanted to do something big for them. Um, right now, I think we're looking at two to 300 people that are going to be attending on Saturday, uh, March 26th uh, at nine o'clock. We're going to be dedicating the flagpole. Um, to Craig, and we're also going to be um, honoring our Vietnam veterans. Well, that sounds like a wonderful event, and Craig, kind of chime in about how you're feeling about all of this. Thank you for your service, obviously, but how do you feel well, about this event? Uh, it's humbling. <laughs> 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 Not sure I deserve it, but um, it's certainly an honor, but uh, the main purpose of the event, as you can appreciate, it's not about me, it's about it's about our veterans and uh you know we were not uh warmly received when we uh, when we came home so it's to honor them yeah well it's so important and you know it's such a shame that that did happen back then but now let's try and make things right and really celebrate this so i i think the event is free but you would like people to rsvp is that correct Absolutely. Um, it is 100% free. Uh, we will be having a coffee hour with some light snacks um, from 9 to 10, and then 10 to 11 will be our actual ceremony that we'll have. Um, we have a lot of guests coming out. Um, we actually have the Marine Corps band, the Marine Corps Color Guard from Paris Island will be in attendance as well. Um, and then after, we're just going to uh, uh, join each other in our 5,000 square foot rustic barn uh, and and build some camaraderie. You know, talk to talk to some other veterans and um, let our Vietnam veterans, you know, share their stories. And tell us a little bit about last year um, on Memorial Day. That was kind of an interesting thing that happened then, and we want to share that story as well. Absolutely. So last year uh, in May, uh, 22 days leading up to Memorial Day, we wanted to honor some of the fallen that were losing to suicide, unfortunately. Yeah. So what we did is we wanted to raise awareness. So for 22 days straight, we had a fire yeah. and we manned that fire with different volunteers, different veterans, different organizations. And they came out and sat by that fire for 24 hours, seven days a week. And so our goal was just to raise awareness about veteran suicide. And what we did on Memorial Day is we wanted to honor our brothers and sisters that we lost in combat. Combat. So we actually transferred that fire to a bigger fire, and that's where we celebrated, you know, like I said, um, the veterans that we lost, unfortunately, uh, overseas. Yeah, wow. But, you know, that is really impressive and such a wonderful tribute to those that have gone uh, and lost their lives. So um, speaking of that, to mem memorialize people, you are also selling pavers. Uh, and you know that can have their name and, and be installed in the in the park. So tell us a little bit more about how somebody can get involved with that. Yeah, folks can can uh, if they'd like to memorialize something, uh, honor someone. Um, a couple of us have uh, have already uh, we have some in the making right now for some of our some of our buddies that we lost, and uh, it's a great way to be able to uh, to come out. They'll be uh, surrounding the flagpole. And uh, it'll it'll be uh, it'll be a very very respectful uh, setting for them um, right at the flagpole. And how does somebody, if they are interested in purchasing a paver, how do they do that? So what you can do is you can go onto our website, which is opfob.org. Uh, and there's a page on there that you can click on, put in your information, and um, we would greatly uh, appreciate and uh, be willing to honor those veterans. 
Well, thank you gentlemen so much for being with us this morning. Thank you again for your service. Congratulations, Craig, on your honor. And I hope it's a wonderful event for everybody that, it, that attends. And thank you for all the important things that you are doing in the community. We appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to all of my guests for their insights and contributions today. Thank you to SM Bradford Company and Currents, my wardrobe sponsor for today's look. My production team of Joseph Keith, Jeremy Pope, Lisa Richardson, and Jessa Jeremiah are behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. And we wish you all the best until we meet again for the next Bluffton News.